Hey guys, ZeroTex00 here, and today in this video we are gonna test a Guardian Antivirus vs. the Mandarada TXC malware. So, without any further ado, let's get straight into our first test. Okay, guys, so the first test is gonna be as usual with all the protections enabled on the Guardian Antivirus. As we can see here, all of them are activated and running all the protections from here. So, with that, guys, let's run the Mandarada TXC malware in 3. 2 and 1 Oh yeah, this is not a good sign So as you guys can see I think that the Guardian Antivirus might not detect the malware Oh never mind, it got detected So that made me worried that I was able to execute it But as you guys can see, after all The Guardian Antivirus still managed to detect and stop the Mandela TXC malware from infecting the system Which is super amazing in my opinion so I guess that the Guardian Antivirus has passed the first test, so with that I guess we can move further into the second test. Ok guys, so for the second test I'm gonna run the Mandela.txt malware again, but this time, as you guys usually know, with the malware protection off and obviously I had to get these annoying uh, pop-ups here. So guys, the second test is gonna be with this protection deactivated as we can see here. Uh, malware protection, I'm assuming it's a secondary protection for this antivirus. So with that guys, let's run the Mandela.txt malware again in 3, 2 and 1. Once again, it seems like it's running, we are not very sure if it's gonna run. So, and there we go guys, the behavior detection. Okay guys, so it seems like the Guardian antivirus still detected and stopped the Mandela.txt malware from running, but I'm really Wondering where I can actually find this protection, I mean the behavior detection protection, maybe it's inside in this one, I'm not... No, this is just a protection. Who knows, maybe it has the behavior protection in this protection and I have to, add it to deactivate it in order to have the secondary protection off as well, but that would literally make us get infected very easily. But yeah guys, it doesn't matter, the Guardian Antivirus has passed the second test as well, so now let's get further into a third test. Ok guys, so as you guys usually know, the third test is usually with the main protection off and the secondary protection on. In this case, I'm considering the malware protection as a secondary protection. And just know guys, there is no need to deactivate the Ethernet yet, because this is a malware, not a ransomware, so there is no huge risk of infecting other people that are using LAN connections as well, so I guess I'm gonna be fine if I somewhat get infected with this malware. So yeah guys, the thing is that I'm gonna run the Mandela.txt malware with this protection off, with the main supposed to be protection. So with that guys, let's run the Mandela.txt malware once again in 3, 2 and 1. Okay, so once again it seems like it's running, but maybe it's gonna be detected again. And never mind guys, this time it didn't get detected again. Let's try to run it. Yeah, I wanna run it. And there we go guys, we got infected unfortunately. Yeah, there we go, I'm gonna try to activate the protection. But I'm pretty sure it's useless now, activating it. I'm also gonna mute the audio, cause it's very annoying most probably now. Uh, guys, what I'm gonna try to do is uh, a scan. I'm basically gonna try to do a scan since we really need to make one. Let's try a quick scan because this has to be done quick and I'm pretty sure that the uh, Guardian Antivirus will detect the malware and okay it seems like it stopped. Don't tell me the system has crashed. Oh no it didn't. Okay that made me a bit worried but it's it's a bit... Oh what the hell is that? Jesus Christ. You guys are very lucky because like I muted the audio but if you guys would hear this it's not okay at all. Nothing is worth the risk. Yeah okay I get it. So Cyber Soldier did scare me with this one not gonna lie. But there we go guys we are doing the scan it seems like one archive got detected. I'm assuming it's the malware's archive which is in the recycle bin. But once again the malware is still running so that's not good. And right now I can't do anything anymore. And I think the system has crashed. Yep. Ok guys, so the system has unfortunately crashed, now the system seems to be restarting right now, ok. I'm not really sure what should I expect, should I expect the system to be broken, should I expect a boot loop, oh never mind. The system booted up, but who knows, maybe the registries got messed up or anything like that, we are gonna have to check now for any of that. So as far as you can see, the system somewhat booted just fine, and never mind. 
Never mind. Never mind, guys. Uh, this is not good. I'm pretty sure I can't do anything about it. Yeah, the control shift escape combination doesn't work. And yeah, there we go. We have this. Um, yeah. Well, guys, let's let's wait for this to finish and see if the system will be I don't know deleted or something. I'm gonna see you guys a bit later. Okay guys, I'm back, so as you guys have seen, that thing has been... Jesus Christ! Okay, so as you guys have seen, that thing was still going on, and right now I think it's almost finished. Nothing is worked there is... Jesus Christ, bro, this is really weird. Okay, yeah, I really don't know what should I say about that, and I think the system is dead now. Oh, never mind, it's still putting up, but I'm pretty sure that... We are most probably done with the system. I don't think there is anything else we can do to fix it, but I'm still gonna wait for it to like boot up and stuff because yeah, there we go. So okay, the system has booted up. I'm not sure if there is anything else that's gonna happen. Never mind. Oh yeah, blue screen of dead. Of course, there was something to happen, obviously. I mean, yeah, unfortunately guys, I'm assuming that the Guardian Antivirus has lost because at the third test as you guys have seen pretty much failed and i'm pretty sure that we can't use the system anymore once again it's rebooting but i'm pretty sure that the system is unusual and most probably there is nothing we can do i mean there is a way on cyber studios channel there is a way to remove the malware but yeah we can't really remove it by using the antivirus that's the thing yeah so as you guys can see it keeps doing this thing over and over so guys as a conclusion, the Guardian antivirus has failed the third test, but overall if you guys keep all the protections enabled and activated and you are careful with your system, you are not gonna end up in this situation. So guys, this is the thing, don't pirate the software, don't pirate things, don't uh, don't go on sketchy websites, just uh, stay safe and don't go on sketchy websites and go to the, like, not original, but like, just go to normal websites you know i don't know how to say it just go to the original sources you know from which you want to download the apps and stuff as an example you want to download adobe premiere pro like you want to buy it and stuff go to the original website don't try to pirate it that's basically what i'm saying and yeah guys that's all thank you guys for watching this video and as a conclusion keep all your protections on and be careful and don't pirate that's all Thank you guys for watching and see you guys with new videos in the future. Bye bye.